Sure. I actually ran in 2001 for a seat on city council. When I announced, so I ac actually announced 20 years to the day that I announced my candidacy this time around. When I announced, I think I was about the fifth or the sixth candidate to announce. It ended up being a month later, we had 35 people running for eight seats. And that's just for city council. That doesn't include the five people running for mayor. So we had 40 people running in the municipal election. Uh, I did not perform well. I lived in Lethbridge for only three years. I didn't know anybody. I had never volunteered for anything. One thing I learned in that election is that to get elected in Lethbridge, especially in an ele a municipal election that has 35 candidates, people have to know who you are. People vote in municipal politics based on name recognition. But I've never ran for political office since then. Uh, I got just under a thousand votes. And that seems like a, a good chunk for nobody knowing who you are but uh, it was not nearly enough. I probably needed over 8,000 votes to get into office, but I was pretty pleased with that considering, you know, I didn't know anybody and I just didn't have a very big social network. And this was before social media, so there was no way to reach people back then. I had been wanting to get back into politics for a while. I almost ran in 2007. I had my nomination papers. I had filled them out, was ready to submit them. And I just felt, nah, it's not the right time yet. I'm not quite ready. I was almost going to run in 2013. I actually did a little thing where if I got 3,000 people to like my Facebook page, I would run for city council. But I only got 1,000, maybe 1,100. So I wasn't anywhere close to that. But I was I was really considering it. That's been my only approach to politics until now. I feel that over the years, I have learned a lot about politics at the municipal level, at the provincial level, at the federal level, especially in the last year and a half, as I have been an independent journalist focusing on political news. I pump out one news story every day and I spend hours working on it. I'll go and research the data, really look at the data, really see what it says. And that's given me completely different outlook than I had, say, two years ago on politics. And that understanding really opened my eyes to the nature of politics. And I felt with that additional understanding that I had something to offer Lethbridge. And so I decided that this was probably going to be the year. And like this past spring is when I was considering it. The poll projections for Lethbridge on websites like 338 Canada were suggesting Rachel Harder would finish with under 50% of the vote. So I thought this would probably be my window. I need to do it now. The NDP for the last four elections have come in second place. And so I thought, well, this seems to be my, my best chance was to run with the NDP. And they sort of aligned with a lot of the things I believe in. Not exactly, but of all the parties, probably that one the most. And so I applied and waited and waited and waited. And then two months later, they said, I don't think you're going to be a good fit for us. You're too prolific. It's going to take us a really long time to vet all the stuff you've posted online over the last 25 years. And you're too provocative. You say things we're not comfortable with, um, which is code for I speak my mind and then say what I want. Even if it's uncomfortable truth. But I still felt I had something to add. And so I thought about it some more, pondered it, contemplated it, and decided, well, you know what? I can still run. I'll just run as an independent. So I did some research and found out that it's possible and figured out what I needed to do to make it happen. And here we are. So I think I can still provide the things that I had thought of, but party politics isn't really for me. In the materials I was reading, there was a lot of limitations on the sorts of things you can say. And you had to fundraise for the party itself, not necessarily for your campaign, but you had to fundraise sign up membership, stuff like that. Those were things I was kind of uneasy about. Like I didn't really have a strong connection to the NDP party. And so it wasn't really comfortable doing that. And when it came down to it, if issue came up in the House of Commons and the party needed people to vote for it, I might be forced to vote in favor of something I don't think is in Lethbridge's best interest or vice versa, vote against something that I think would be in Lethbridge's best interest. And so I thought that as an independent, I can was the best thing I could do if I'm going to run for the federal seat here in Lethbridge. And I think now that that's the best way to represent constituents is by being an independent because I can represent Lethbridge in the House of Commons. I don't have to worry about towing the party line or listening to a party whip. I can just say, okay, well, this issue that you all are bringing forward into the House of Commons for us to vote on, I think that's a good thing for Lethbridge, so I'm going to vote for it, no matter what the rest of you do. Or I don't think it's going to be for, good for Lethbridge, so I'm not going to vote for it, no matter what the rest of you do.